Hello there, I'm Dr. Yatin Patel, a pulmonary and sleep physician uh, here in Goshen, Indiana, and I'm going to talk to you about coronavirus, uh, the infection, symptoms, and how to prevent it. So stick around. <music> Welcome back, uh, coronavirus. It's a family of viruses which are present in bats and other animals. And this particular virus is called SARS, S-A-R-S, COVID-2, which causes the illness now known as COVID-19. This was first discovered, as you know, in Wuhan province in China. And according to Center for Disease Control, majority of this illness, majority of the infections cause mild illness. In fact, only 16% have severe symptoms and severe disease. This is predominantly in patients who are 70 years and older with comorbid conditions like diabetes, congestive heart failure, kidney disease, and the likes. It is also more severe than usual in healthcare workers, presumably because they're exposed to more virus and for longer period of time. How is it transmitted? It's person to person transmission and the person is most contagious when the person is the sickest. The person to person transmission occurs with close contact about six feet uh, apart or within the six feet radius. When a person coughs, uh, the microscopic, the droplets spread uh, in the environment. And when you touch the surface or the doorknob or the door handle, and then with those hands, when you touch the face, that's when the virus gets entry. What are the symptoms? 90% of patients report fever, sometimes very high. 60% of them report cough, quite commonly a dry tickle, a right uh, in the throat and 30% report shortness of breath which is the serious most symptom because it indicates pneumonia involvement of lungs so if you have any of those symptoms per current CDC guidelines within 14 days of travel to China Japan South Korea Iran or Italy or within 14 days of coming in contact with somebody who has traveled there, you should uh, suspect COVID-19. Now this is changing because more and more communities within US are uh, finding new and new cases. And if you suspect that you have that, then the first thing is to call your physician and quarantine yourself use the mask lock yourself up in the in the room don't share personal items have somebody do the thorough cleaning the house with bleach especially the the commode uh, uh, the toilet knobs and faucets and door handles and door knobs and your physician don't go to the clinic because you don't want to expose other people to your illness your physician may advise you to go to the sleep uh, to the sleep uh, sorry the hospital lab for uh, nasopharyngeal swab to get tested what can you do to prevent it well the prevention is the most important because we don't have a cure yet there is no antiviral medication that is effective the vaccine would take probably a year still to come out so prevention makes it even more uh, sense and it is more important number one thing you can do to prevent it is hand washing recommended soap and water hand washing for 20 seconds which is washing it thoroughly with soap and water for 20 seconds which is singing yourself happy birthday to you the whole song twice when you're traveling which by the way you should minimize any hand sanitizer with 60% or more alcohol will work. 
Next, don't shake hands. Uh, fist pumping may also transmit some bacteria. So saying hi from a, from a distance would be preferred uh, way of greeting somebody. Don't touch your face. If you're in the habit of touching your lips or touching your nose or rubbing your eyes, please, please undo that habit and don't do that. If you have a cough, cough in a handkerchief or a tissue and throw that in the trash. If you don't have it handy, <coughs> cover your cough with your elbow. Wear a mask in public when you're coughing. Avoid public places. The reason I've been told that Wuhan, China epidemic has been contained is because they cancel all the schools and public transportations and conferences and public gatherings. That's how they contained it. And you should try to avoid public places the best you can. If you can work from home, you should. If you are an employer, you should allow your employees to work from your home. Groceries, they're not going to be out of stock, but the purpose of stocking up on the groceries is such that you don't have to go to the grocery store twice a week. Uh, home cleaning is important. And the way you do that is five tablespoons of bleach in one gallon water and wipe the surfaces which might have the cough and the virus droplets. Taking a special precautions on the head knobs and handles and faucets. The Clorox wipes, I was told, also help clean the house. Um, don't panic. Precaution is important. Panicking is not. Have faith that human race has been through a lot of these kind of uh, pandemics, if I may use that word, in the past, and we shall do that this time also. So hand washing, don't touching your face. Use this. If you suspect you may have the disease, quarantine yourself. Don't expose others. Call the hospital, call your physician's office, get tested. Uh, don't share personal items if you think you might have the disease. Uh, wear a mask, cover your cough, and take all the necessary precautions. Thank you for listening. Stay safe, stay healthy. Thank you.